the New York School of Interior Design here in New York City, I host a program called Collecting Design. In a recent session devoted to the American studio movement, I interviewed Jeffrey Head, whose book on mid-century designer Paul Evans was recently published. Jeffrey shared his enthusiasm for one of the most innovative figures of the American studio movement. A graduate of the metalsmithing program at the legendary School of American Crafts, Paul Evans settled in New Hall, Pennsylvania in the mid-50s. At first, he collaborated with local designer Philip Powell on wood and metal objects, but quickly developed his own style and began crafting monumental furniture that resists category. These early pieces were made of sculpted steel panels oxidized in acids resulting in brilliant colors. It was a technique Evans invented and kept secret for his entire life. Evans worked in metal in a way no other designer had ever done before or since, arranging metal panels in rich quilt patterns. According to Jeffrey Head, Evans created no more than 75 pieces in angular forms, turning complex textures into his own signature expression, a mode that corresponded with a brutalist architecture that was sweeping America. From geometric compositions, Evans progressed to furniture in giant stylus S-curves, introducing movement to the otherwise static heavy forms. But it wasn't until 1964 when he began his collaboration with the Directional Furniture Company that Evans became nationally known. He designed no less than 12 furniture collections during an 18-year partnership. The first collection was based on a theme of traditional quilt patchwork. He used copper and pewter and oxidized them into bright colors. He chose black and white for the next variation, which he achieved by blackening aluminum sheets with ink. Evans named this series Argente. By the time he designed Cityscape, the most successful furniture series of his entire career, Evans employed no less than 90 people in his New Hope studio. He provided directional furniture with hundreds of autographed pieces every week. It was the early 70s and Cityscape corresponded to the new aesthetics of sleek, shiny, streamlined forms. This collection was so popular that Evans continued producing it for nearly a decade. Today, Paul Evans' work is highly esteemed. His unique furniture is collected worldwide. The Mechner Art Museum plans a retrospective and Jeffrey Head authored a monograph that documents the accomplished career of Paul Evans.